Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. We'll say hello to all my subscribers out there, and if you're just passing through, you know, hit the subscribe button and a little bell and pull up a chair and stay a while. But uh, what we're, what I'm going to talk about in this video is the final, the final video on this, on this AliExpress TV Ray Vaughn. It's, I don't know how many videos I've had with this guitar in it. There'll probably be at least, there'll be one more, and I'll tell you about that. But this is kind of the grand finale as far as any kind of modifications or anything to it. I'm not going to play it tonight because it's tonight and I don't want to sleep on the couch. So, you know, that's coming up. We're going to have it. But anyway, what I want to do is just go over real quick because I still get a lot of questions about this guitar. I want to go over real quick just an overall thing about this about this guitar, what I've had to do to it, and what you can expect to have to do, and what you're going to have to, the, what, how much it's going to cost you to make this into, you know, a higher level guitar. So, you know, a lot of you have been through some of the other videos with me. If you happen, you know, there's several to go back and look at different modifications, whatever. So let's just start at the, at the at the neck and work our way through with everything we've changed and then look at what it's going to cost to do that versus some other type of guitar. So, you know, starting with the neck, and I hope this light ain't going to mess us up, you know, I installed, one of the last things I did was install these Fender tuners. Got them put on there. So it's got good quality tuners. The tuners that were on it were very low, poor quality but it actually did come from the factory with a bone nut. It has real good frets, good kind of a medium jumbo frets, probably a 12 inch radius on the neck. I've got the clay dot inlays put in and uh, man, it really, you know, it's gonna be hard for the camera to show that, but those things really, they really look good. You know, it was worth it was worth it because the inlays that were in it were very cheap, very poor looking. Okay, <clears throat> so you got the truss rod adjustment in the neck. That's a two-way rod that works. Uses an Allen head wrench. You know, so it's it does have a truss rod that does work. So um, the string tree is the original Chinese cheap string tree, and you know I'll come up with one one day that's a little better. Uh, reused the strap buttons, nothing wrong with them. That's what came with the guitar. Okay, the pit guard is the original pit guard that came with it. Changed the pickups to Iron Gear Texas Loco pickups. And I mean, they're, I love them. I've got them in another strap and, you know, I had never tried. I have tried their humbuckers, but as far as their single coils, these are the only ones I've ever tried. And man, they're, they're like a hundred to a hundred and twenty dollars, something like that. Man, that's a good investment for what you get. Had to do a little routing on the cavity, put in the GFS premium vintage wiring kit with the full size pots, you know, good five way switch, input jack. I mean they're they're good quality that's good quality stuff. Changed the trim to a GFS. All I used was a trim plate and the block in the back. I, changed, I kept the original saddles, put the whammy bar on. Okay, so that's that's pretty much, you know, the claw in the back is the original. The springs, possibly, I don't know. I changed things around. Neck plate's the same. So basically, really, I've had to replace everything on it outside of the frets, uh, the string tree, the tuning pegs, or not the tuning pegs, the strap locks, uh, and the saddles themselves. Everything else I've had to change. So I bought this thing several years ago. I think it's been a couple, you'd be like two years in November, I think. Uh, and I got a special deal on it. It was kind of a promotional thing, but I, I looked, went back and looked today at AliExpress. If you buy one of these, you're gonna pay, uh, 
you're going to pay somewhere around $330, you know, give or take, you know, depending on what kind of deal you get, what kind of coupons, that's what you're going to pay. So you don't have a full thickness body. It's got like a infinity thickness body, but this thing plays great. It plays absolutely fantastic. It just, I mean, it vibrates. I mean, it just, I mean, it just, it's loud. I mean, it's loud. So it's really, you know, that part is great. So for my investment, it was worth that to get just the body. And I'll say a little more about that. So what I want to do is look at the cost, exactly what we're going to, what you're going to have in something like this. And then this will tell you what I'm, what I'm, what I'm getting at. Okay, if you give three hundred and thirty dollars for the for the guitar, you're getting the neck, the body, the pick guard, a few pieces here, there, and yonder. Okay, uh, here, yonder, here, there, and yonder is what we say in Georgia. Uh, okay, you're gonna pay around twenty six dollars for the wire and the pots, all that, which is a good price for a good price from GFS. Uh, got 40 bucks in the tuners, got uh, about 31 in the trim, we'll say 120 on the pickups because that varies with the exchange rate, those you know come from the UK, they kind of fluctuate a little bit, and 22 bucks for the red or for the, the clay dot inlays, and I don't think I'm leaving anything out, I think that pretty much covers it outside of a set of strings, but that's with any guitar that's what you're going to have. Uh, so that's a total of $569. So and if you have to pay any kind of import fees, which I didn't, but some places you will, I mean, basically, given where you buy stuff, what particular tuners, you're basically looking at $600 to put one of these in shape. Now this one, I'd put it up against you know, almost any guitar. I mean, this thing is straight. I love it. I bought it thinking it was going to hang on the wall because I'm a big Stevie Ray Vaughan fan. I can't play like Stevie Ray Vaughan, but, uh, you know, that's why I bought it. So what I'm going to say about this, and like I say, I'm going to let this this baby go. I mean, this we're going to talk. We got other stuff coming up. What I'm saying, unless you want to buy a guitar that's, that's a... Stevie Ray Vaughan relic copy, a John Mayer, uh, Keith Richards, uh, Eddie Van Halen, whatever. If you can't afford the real authentic copy, remake, custom build, whatever, you know, you're probably okay to, to buy one of these and do what I did to it. If you're just wanting a, like a relic guitar, <laughs> You're you're ta you're so much better off just to buy a uh, square uh, or something along that line and and, and and do the do the relic in yourself or you know, there's a number of other options out there other companies that are offering you know relic guitars at a different price because you're taking a big chance on buying one of these I mean this is I can only speak for this one but anyway I get so many questions about this guitar that I, you know, finally when I get it completely where I wanted it, I just wanted to do one more video and just explain that you're gonna have $600 in this guitar. Now I'm perfectly good with that. I'm perfectly fine. And if anybody thinks, well, you're just, you know, throwing good money after bad, there's nothing I put on this guitar that I can't take off of it. And that's something to always remember. If you go look on eBay or Reverb, I would be better off, I've probably got 30, 30 or 40 guitars right now. I could sell them all in parts and pieces on eBay, eBay and Reverb and make a whole lot more money than I can sell them complete. So there's nothing that I put on here that I can't take off, whatever. And I do this because I enjoy it, I like it, whatever. So that's just kind of that with that. I mean, that's kind of the story with this thing. And, and I've got somebody I want to bring in to play this guitar and several others that I've, you know, 
and we're going to kind of play one against the other, the, the, the Vander Road Warren 50s guitar, uh, quite a few other strats I've got and just kind of, you know, compare them, let him play them and compare them. We'll do something fun. And the, what's holding me up is I really would like to have my kind of shop studio fix so we could do it in there. And then two, this this thing we got going on with all this social distancing and mask wearing and stuff like that, I, you know, so that's coming. It'll be after some of this other stuff gets took care of. So, uh, so that that's that with that, you know, uh, you're going to change all this stuff out. You're going to do all that. If you just want a good guitar, man, go out here and buy you a made in Mexico, you know, uh, strat that's uh you know the, the player series or whatever you're gonna if you just want a guitar and if you want to beat and bang it up that's your business but you know if you if you're thinking you're gonna buy something from aliexpress and you're gonna have something that's worthwhile that out of the box sorry it happening it's not gonna happen i've got two of them i've got the Les paul it ain't no I mean, I've, I've had to do a, a bunch of work to it to make it worth anything. Okay, uh, the next video, you remember the little uh, dumpster special, Square Affinity. I've kind of got a place in my heart for it and now that I've, that I've got it done, or not got it done, but I've actually got to where I could play it. Uh, the next video, we're going to get into it and finish it up with... Uh, some upgrades, uh, tuners, block, uh, saddles, kind of get it done completely, get it moved on. And that'll, that's some of the videos I've been doing. I need to get done, okay? I hadn't forgot about the, I called it the Fender Meteora, the old body. It's not in here right now, but the one that I, that I was working a while back, you know, kind of reroute and everything. The humidity down here in Georgia at this time of year is absolutely unreal. So I've kind of been waiting to paint that guitar. That's why I hadn't done nothing with it. But I'm going to get back on it. I've got a dehumidifier set up in the shop now. So, you know, I, I'm going to be able to do a little more with that. So I'm going to be trying to finish it up. But what I've been trying to focus on is uh, showing people how to take an inexpensive guitar and make it a lot better. And I've kind of really done that on the, the very cheap, actually. You know, I mean, I can spend $600 on something and call that cheap. But, you know, uh, I've got a guitar, body, neck, all the hardware, everything. I've almost got everything together, but we're going to be putting together a Telecaster that's going to be kind of a step above what what I've been doing as far as showing these other guitars. You know, this ain't going to be something that come out of the dumpster. It's actually, you know, a nice, going to be a, nice, a real nice guitar. But what I want to do by that is seeing how Square came out with the uh, Esquire version, and I believe, if I'm right, they're $399, and so I'm, I'm pretty well thinking I'm going to build an Esquire that's going to have a whole lot more than that to see if I can actually build one and come out for about the same money or less with higher quality. So that's something that's going to be coming up, and I'm not going to give all of it away until I get it all laid out where we can look at it. Uh, but it, it will be initially kind of a long, drawn-out thing. We'll, we'll put things together, fit it all up, but it's probably going to get a nitro paint job, which is going to take a while. You know, so, you know, we'll do all the prep. We'll have everything fitted, do a, you know, just do a mock-up, then we'll be, uh, you know, it'll take some time for that nitro to, to cure and get the body fixed, you know, get it all the paint, and then we'll put it together. But it'll, 
you know, we'll get something done on it. It'll be a while, and then we'll get it finished. So, anyway, that's what I got coming up. But I just wanted to do a real quick last video on this thing, and uh, on this on this AliExpress SRV, and uh, just kind of do one last talk around about it and what I've done to it and what what it costs to do it. Just because I get so many questions about it, so uh, maybe you know. We, I would like you know to to know to be able to play it a little better than you know I'd like to be able to play it like Stevie Ray Vaughan. But anyway, uh, that's about all with this one. You know, if uh, it was if any value at all, give me a thumbs up. If it was no value, give me a thumbs down. Uh, but you know, if you're interested in this type of stuff, like I say, I've got some different stuff coming up. Hopefully, some of it's going to be in my new shop. So if you hadn't subscribed, you know, consider doing that. And uh, until the next time, see you.